natural resources and environment. Now I would like to invite His Excellency Mr. Warawut Silaba Acha, the Minister of Natural Resources and Environment, to be on the stage and deliver the opening address. Please welcome. Dr. Rien Bin Chan, the Secretary General of the International uh, Paleontological Association, or IPA, Associate Professor Dr. Prayuk Sivilai, the President of Mahasarakam University, Kun Krai Song Thong Salat, the Governor of Kongan Province, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to you all and Swati Krab. First of all, I'd like to uh, apologize for my delayed in arrival because due to the uh, air traffic was a little tight this morning, which was a good sign that everyone is traveling once back again to Thailand and both nationally and internationally. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Royal Thai government, it is my absolute pleasure to welcome every single one of you to the sixth International Paleontological Congress or IPC6 in the beautiful city of Khon Gan, Thailand. After the first successful Congress in Sydney in 2002 and the following Congresses every four years in Beijing in 2006, in 2010 in London, Mendoza in 2014, in Paris in 2018, and it is an honor for Thailand to host the sixth IPC now held in 2022. In this connection, I'd like to take this opportunity to express our sincere appreciation to the International Paleontological Association for the endorsement of the Congress to be held in Thailand. And I would also like to commend the Paleontological Research and Education Center at Mahasarakam University for the main organizer and the organizing committee, as well as the sponsors for making this important and a very timely Congress possible. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as you may very well, for sure, know all better than me. Um, Thailand is a land of great geological and paleontological diversity, from Gondwana to Laurasia, which includes vertebrate and plant fossils. And therefore, I would like to mention some of our terrific paleontological diversity sites in Thailand. The first one is Satun Geo Park, which is our first ever UNESCO Global Geopark, which is the magnificent geological heritage, characterized by the spectacular terrestrial karst topography, unspoiled islands, and wonderful beaches down south. The land shows evidence of submerged landscape and fossil dating back over 500 million years, a time when early organisms thrived and introduced oxygen to the Earth atmosphere for the first time. I've been informed that some of you have already visited the park prior to the Congress, and I sincerely believe that your trip was a fun-filled event with wonderful and fruitful, as well as informative and memorable one. The second one is the longest petrified log in the world, as recorded by the Guinness World Records earlier in July this year. The fossil log is almost 70 meters long, 69.7 to be exact, and it is located at Tark Petrified Wood Geopark in the northwestern part of Thailand in Tark province. The third one is Koratio Park, which is only two and a half hours drive away from here. And the site shows the unique geological features on the diversity and the abundance of fossils, particularly elephants. And the last but not least is Kongantio Park, or so-called Dinosaur's Valley. The area is dominated by unique sandstone landform, which is the shape of a Mickey Mouse believe it or not, and rich in dinosaur fossils. The Dinosaur Valley is also home to Sirinton dinosaur. And to date, the fossils of five new dinosaur species have been unearthed. I'm strongly confident that all of the paleontologists around the world gathering here today this morning will enjoy exchanging the latest science information in the environment of the Dinosaur Valley. Ladies and gentlemen, paleontology, I'm quite certain, that only paleontologists and related scientists know how paleontology is important to mankind. Now, however, 
if you talk to the general public at large, most people will incomprehensibly look at every single one of you and follow by the word, what? I mean, I have background in engineering and finance, and I was the first one who asked the question, what? I tried to look it up in a dictionary and translate it into Thai is even worse. But uh, now, as a minister of natural resources and environment, I have realized that paleontology is indeed a time machine for bringing us back to the future. And I personally view paleontology as both science and art of studying the past for warning us about the future. And I truly believe that understanding errors which were different from our own is essential to skeletonize the future of our planet. And furthermore, I've learned that planets has gone through five great mass extinctions which were caused by extreme temperature changes, rising and falling of sea levels, a huge volcanic eruptions, as well as asteroid crashing down on Earth. How do we know that? It's because we see how life has changed in fossil records. I'm confident that Professor Harper will further elaborate on mass extinctions during his special talk on the big three extinctions, lessons from deep time. I'm, I have a question for you all as well, a few actually, not only for the paleontologists, but for everyone. Are we living through the, ma the sixth mass extinction? My personal answer is definitely yes, because we've been experiencing drastic changes to our planet including extreme weather such as floodings, droughts, and wildfires. Now, some of you may argue that such changes are natural phenomena, and yes, some degree of warming and cooling is absolutely natural. But the way we are experiencing it now, today, is entirely unnatural. Now, when we talk about the changes that occur on the geological timescale, they are typically very, very slow. But since the Industrial Revolution, we have been putting pressure on Mother Nature by exploiting her resources, especially fossil fuels and forests, and without means of recovery. And this has led to problems of human-induced climate change and ultimately biodiversity loss, which of course is the planet killer. And the fastest known increase in greenhouse gases concentration in atmosphere is happening right now as we speak. Now, are we repeating the history of the great dying? Back then, long, long time ago, we all know very well that there was an enormous outgassing of methane and other greenhouse gases from volcanic activity, along with the ocean acidification and the loss of oxygen in the oceans. And as a matter of fact, ladies and gentlemen, that a lot of those problems are the same problems that we are currently experiencing. The second question, ladies and gentlemen, could and should we stop the sixth mass extinction, especially by the grave dangers of human-caused climate change? As the paleontologists, you all might tell me that if the sixth extinction, the mass extinctions are really happening, life will rebound again and eventually be as diverse as it is today. But it is our time now, ladies and gentlemen. We are here and there are wonderful living beings around today. Well, us included, of course. There are wonderful landscapes, wonderful plants, which we should protect in order to pass them down to our children, our grandchildren, and next generations to come. And I believe it's a shame to throw them all away. So we should protect our planet. We should protect our world, our land, and our part in the geological timeline. Several so researchers, particularly the message from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or IPCC, have urged that we do need to take actions both in terms of mitigation and adaptation in order to stop this catastrophe. Now, the sooner we act, the more we are able to save. So, ladies and gentlemen, please act now. Not tomorrow, not next year, but now. And ladies and gentlemen, the future of our planet hangs on our exertion, which may be the biggest one yet of our era. We all have active roles to play which requires deep transformation of our values, our attitudes, and especially our behaviors. Paleontologists must now play the crucial part as a force of action 
particularly in revealing the experiences of the mass extinctions through the available fossil records and make it possible to observe our ancestors' responses to the past environmental changes, especially during the great dying. And we shall not be written down on the geological timeline as those who perished during the sixth extinction. And through this Congress, let's show the world what we are doing and what we have done and what we are capable of. And I do believe in mankind and only together impossible shall become possible. And apart from paleontology, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you will enjoy the Congress very much as well as Kongan City. But tomorrow is also um, our very, very important celebration, our national festival of Lloyd Gratong Festival. It's got absolutely nothing with paleontology, unfortunately. But nonetheless, it's, uh, it doesn't date going back errors and errors and going eons back. But it is our national pride and our national joy. And I do urge each and every single one of you take part and enjoy our centuries-long festival of Loi Gratung, where we show our appreciation and apologize to Mother Nature and river flows and thank the way we've been living in Thailand. Ladies and gentlemen, with that, I thank every single one of you for being here, and I'd like to declare the sixth International Paleontological Congress opened. Thank you, and Kapun Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your wonderful, inspiring opening address. May I kindly ask the minister to remain on the stage? And I would like to invite Associate Professor Dr. Prayuk Sivirai, the president of Mahasaraj.